Guys, so this week, got a bunch of polishing done, mounted a bumper, messed up the paint, and put a tailgate on. All right, so we got half of it polished up anyways. And, and well, passenger side, it's all polished out. The hood's mostly polished out. Here to do the driver's side half a little bit yet. There's a little spot that's kind of hazy yet. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break from polishing today. Try and get this bumper mounted up. All right, so I got the bumper kind of mocked up. It's not exactly where it'll be sitting. It needs to be come down just a little bit lower and kind of roll this way a little bit as you can see from the side it's this this line should line up with this here but can't quite do it with my precision mock-up tools here but it gives me a general idea as to what i need to be doing um i'm gonna end up taking out or taking and cutting this what's left of the frame horn will just be cut flat and then uh, the bottom, I'll also cut that off and put a plate on the bottom. And then I'll just weld to, let's see, this uh, round, round uh, cross brace that goes across. I'll weld my brackets to that. And my plan is to come up and just bolt through these factory holes here. And then this will be welded to the actual uh, bracket it'll be just a hole in the bumper for it to come through so that it's welded directly to the frame. I haven't really decided how I'm going to do that yet. If I'm going to do it in between like that, off to the side and drill a couple more holes to give it a better look. Um, either on this side or this side. Not 100% sure where I'm going with that just yet, but it gives me a general idea what I need to do. So, yeah.
right, so we got them all welded up. I managed to get all the way around. I'm not sure how bad the backside looks. I couldn't see it all. I actually did this one left-handed. Alrighty, so I got the bumper all mounted up.
All right, guys. So finally got this thing pretty much all polished up. Um, both uh, passenger and driver's side are done now. All I really have left is a little bit on the back of the cab and then the roof. I think I'm gonna end up uh, doing a little more wet sanding closer to the window here. It uh, still has a, quite a bit of texture going on. Out towards the edge here, it looks a lot better. Um, for the most part, it's coming out pretty decent. I did have a couple of, of small fuck ups where I burned through the paint along the edges here, but I threw some touch up paint on there, you can't even tell anymore. So it's one nice thing about using a factory color and just get a touch up paint pen for it and away we go. Um, did have one, one big screw up on the hood here. And you can see I went all the way through just about to the primer. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to try and blend this or if I'm just going to respray the hood. If I, if I respray the hood, I'll blend this and then just respray clear coat over the whole thing. Um, that I'll get rid of, should get rid of my, for some reason, I don't know if it really shows up on camera. Uh, you can kind of see it by the lights. I ended up with a really bad solvent popping issue on just the hood. It didn't really happen anywhere else for the most part. I mean, there's a couple of tiny spots here and there, but like the entire hood had solvent popping issues. So that's why I ended up sanding through right there. So I've been trying to get the, it's like a bunch of little dots on the hood that I've been trying to get out. But otherwise, yeah. Turned out pretty nice, I think, for the rest of it. Not bad, considering this is the first thing I've ever painted.
All right, guys, so as you can see behind me, I finally got the uh, tailgate installed. A little bit of a pain in the butt. I only dropped it once, which is why I called up the reinforcements and got the cherry picker over here. But anyways, I gotta do some uh, fine tuning on the gaps because it doesn't even close right now. It's got a big gap here on this side. If you come over here, it's tight. And pretty sure what happened is I set this up with the old tailgate back when I thought I was gonna try and fix that thing. And that tailgate, it's got a nice bow to it. It's not a big one, it's just a little bit of a bow. But I'm thinking that's why all this is so far off and why the uh, bottom is so tight. I mean, the gaps are fine once I get everything installed, but it was just a real pain in the butt to get that squeezed in there. And I think all that's issues because I fitted everything up with the old tailgate. Um, so it's not gonna be a big deal getting this fixed. I just gotta go and cut where I did the uh, welding on the uh, bed stake there on each side. If I cut that off and then pull this in, re-weld it, and then do the opposite on this side, I should really get some nice straight gaps on there. And then we'll be ready for bed liner. Also, still haven't polished the uh, tailgate yet. Um, the orange peel on the tailgate actually didn't come out too bad, but it's still got a really, like, really fine, it feels like really fine sandpaper across the top. And yeah, I think I just gotta figure out how to get better ventilation in that paint booth and I won't have that issue anymore. So we gotta get that done and then uh, do the Chevrolet letters and I'll, I'll tape them off, sand them down and I'll paint them the same matte bronze that I did on the front for the grill inserts and the bow tie. And then another thing I'm not 100% sure on if I wanna do yet or not is paint inside here, bronze. Not sure if that looked good or not. What do you guys think? But anyways, on the front here, I finally got all the trim is installed, the lights are bolted in, um, rewired the park and turn signals with an actual connector instead of butt splices. So all that's finally done. Um, the bumper is nice and mounted up solid now. Uh, mounted a valance on here to hide all of the um, you know, frame rail and everything else that's going on underneath here. Uh, I did have some fog lights that I wanted to mount in there. They don't fit. So what I'm gonna end up doing is running just, I ordered just a set of clear lenses for a 72, which is what this bumper is for. So I'll mount that in there on a piece of angle iron and then mounted in the angle iron is going to be a thing a Baja Designs D2S I think is what it is flush mount we mounted in that piece of angle iron and they're the amber amber driving lights is what I ordered and then on either side of that I'm just going to put two of them uh, LED lights that are basically a bolt head bolted on either side those will be ran as running lights so when it's running, I'll have the headlights, uh, the two park lights you've, that I've already shown you in white, and then these will also be glowing white in the bottom. And then I'll flip the switch and I'll have fog lights in the bottom. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the LB67 build. Next week, I'll be finishing the polishing wearing the taillights, hopefully get a bed lined. And who knows, maybe we'll get really wild and start putting the interior together.